Hey, this is Drew. Welcome back to Beyond Seclusion. What I want to cover today is gun safety, more specifically like, you know, home defense, having something to secure your firearm. Most commonly, people are looking for having something bedside, you know, so in the middle of the night or whatever. And if you have kids, it's really important that, that you have that firearm secured. If you're you know, living by yourself or you don't have kids in the house, it's a little bit different. But when you have young kids, you don't want a loaded firearm just sitting in the bedside stand. So recently, the one that I'd had for years quit working. It was a gun vault. I got this new one to test out and it looks pretty good. I had great luck with the other one. This is the mini vault. The nice thing with this is, is it has a hand pad here and I'll show you that. You can just put your your fingers on that. You can see here, and it's not a combination. So I can just put my hand on here in complete and total darkness and press the buttons, and they light up when I press them. And then, of course, I have a key backup. I highly recommend that you put that key somewhere safe, it has a low battery alarm. My other one quit working. Fortunately, I remembered where I had hid the key. Um, otherwise, you're gonna you're gonna test its ability to withstand breaking in. So anyway, let's take a closer look at this. So first thing when we get this out of the box is we're gonna have to install the batteries. It comes with the keys. We put the key in. You can see how that door just it really pops open with some force, and it spits it out. The battery is up under here. You'll find the wire. You pull that out. You hook up a 9-volt to it, and then tucked under, underneath, there's a place where you secure that battery. Once so to program this, there's a little button in here. We push that and hold it till it beeps, and then we type in whatever. You can do combinations. Let's just go backwards, and we push and hold it again. And we push it again, and it should be set in. We'll test it. And there you go, now it's set. So now that we have it set, we can place our firearm in there. This is about as big as you're gonna get. It's kind of a tight fit, and you've got just enough room to put a spare mag and then we close that up. And it kicks out. So we'll do it in total darkness here. As you can see, there's a red light in here to help you see. In total darkness, it's gonna illuminate it enough that you can see your firearm. It doesn't stay on really long. It's pretty simple. Easy way to secure a firearm. Nice thing is, is it doesn't have to be bedside. You can put this anywhere. It's got holes in the bottom for mounting. You could mount it under something. You can mount it on a shelf. Really, you could put this anywhere you want. It's got a hole in the back that you can punch out that you can run a cable. Uh, for me, the most important thing is just keeping it inaccessible to somebody that I don't want grabbing it. I'm not so worried about them picking up the safe and running away with that. Um, if you are, then you definitely are going to want to secure it. So hopefully you found this helpful. I think it's important if you have a firearm that you want accessible, that you do it responsibly. And when you've got kids, you absolutely need to secure that. So gun safety starts at home. Be sure to like, sub, and comment. If you haven't checked out our webpage, this is where I post all the crazy, stupid deals that I find. Anyway... Thanks for watching and thanks for your support.